All right, how's it going, guys? We're from 18 here, and welcome back to more console repentance. Now, last time we actually did the tainted Samson unlock, not for the YouTube series, and then on stream I like did some other stuff like playing tainted Samson and then playing a tainted Lost. Uh, this time we're going to be doing some lost attempts. Don't mind the win streak, I've been practicing and dying a bunch. Hunch off cam. Yeah, here we go. I think we'll go beast. No, we're not doing that. Alright, so lost. What's different about him? He no longer has the D4, he now has the eternal D6 instead. And which is a much fairer item for him, especially considering that Isaac already has the normal D6. I guess that character. But other than the D4 going to the D6 and the Holy Mantle won't be coming intrinsic instead of being an item on his passive item bar. Oh, it's Curse of the Blind. Uh, pretty much- okay, so Eternal D6 in this situation is, like, pretty worthless. And since it's Curse of the Blind and we can't see what items we're going out of or into. There is an exception if we hit an active item from our item room or a shop. We can actually- you see what we're re-rolling out of. Okay. Hmm. So, how did I not remember that? Okay, that was the logical conclusion as to where the secret room was. If the other two candidate spots for it, that wasn't it, and then that's blocked off. Mm -hmm. Alright, so we got pin. Pin shouldn't be a problem. Even on base stats, and one pretty useless item. Uh, range is not an HP upgrade, so I'll take it. Not, mm hmm. Well, I mean, it's Cards of Blind anyway, so of course I was going to take it. Okay, library is gonna actually be pretty neat. Just need one key, and then we're going to be hopefully set for bookworm. And with our eternal B6 here. Maybe. Ah, okay, so it's not there. Good to know. 
super secret room is definitely here. Okay, this floor is actually just way... This floor is just bloated with secret room candidates. And it was there. Okay. We have a key. So now that I have a key, I will go into the library. Like a sin. It's going to give us a car... An emperor card? Okay. How to jump. And then I'm going to try to attempt to re-roll these. We get Satanic Bible for Bookworm. And then Book of Secrets. Yeah, getting Bookworm this early in the game is a huge upgrade for us when we only got range on floor one. As getting Bookworm is going to give us that occasional free 2020 shot with no with none of the damage downgrade of the actual 2020. Yeah, I'll go in the other room. Logish is fine. My preference with the Eternal D6 is to only re only try to reroll items that are actually useless to the player. Okay, that was a very good super secret room game. At least it weren't as useless as Black Poop. Okay. Let's see what's in the shop. Treasure map, mom's coin purse. I'll take treasure map. Would I want to actually go in the arcade? Maybe after the boss. So I'll go do the boss. So get haunt. Destroyer of Rebirth lost itself haunt. Although it's like we do have like Bookworm and Little Gish to help out. Especially for this little haunt part. So we have Eye of Belial here for our boss item, which I will take. Hey, which puts us into a Devil Deal President. <laughs> and then Judas's Shadow, which for... Which is actually go which would have ruined our... Ruined our unlock attempt anyway. So this will open. It is. Okay. Let's... Reroll it. Okay, never mind. Alright, grab me. Alright. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. 
Experimental, Experimental pill. pill. Hmm. I think I'll go with the Satanic Bible. Just to get like a Devil Deal every floor. Then I won't get HP upgrades. HP upgrades are like the bane of... And the Devil Deal is still open. But yeah, getting more Devil Deals is going to be good for us in the long run. Now I hope Belial is going to allow our tears to do some extra damage after they hit one enemy. I mean, I might as well. Pretty sure Curse of the Tower is not going to proc off of a holy mantle breaking. I'm sure we can link Emperor card out of there if we'd like. And I am dead. I... Skill issued that room. I need to actually go to one of the opposite axes to where the... To where those guys could not hit me at all. And I thought they were like hotties. Now the rooms the Lost loves to see are the rooms like this one, where there's lots of free stuff over... Over like rocks where you can fly to. And because those are just free resources that he gets access to. That many other characters do not from the start. And in fact, it is thanks to that room in particular that we can actually see what's inside our shop. Spider Maw! Yeah, welcome to the team. You can come along with me, Spider Maw. Pretty fly. Pretty fly. Two pretty fly, fly pills on this curse room is pretty nice. And why the curse room is actually always worth going into, even as even if they can be dangerous for the room. As you usually rely on that holy mantle to actually get out of the to get out of the curse room. A Capricorn's just very solid. There's no reason to ever eternal D6 it. Don't want to pop the tinted rock now. I have two bombs, I might as well. Yeah. 
And yeah, I'll go fight the boss. Now this monstro layout is very cheesy. This whole left side of the arena is filled with rocks and we, as the Lost or Spectral, can actually have used these rocks to be completely safe from anything Monstro can do. Full card. Samson's lock. Shot speed down, which we don't mind. Tears upgrade, which is actually very good for us. So the super secret room could be either over there. Or like over here. And then the regular secret room's here. Or it isn't. And it's just between the item room and the curse room. Mm -hmm. Alright. So next fort we have a lot we have a good amount of DPS for early game. Two black sacks in the curse room for a bomb, a black heart, a troll bomb, and another black heart. And then off in the sack room we have an eternal heart that means nothing to us. Pop the moon card. We already have a teleportation moon. card. Uh, three pills. Health up, which means nothing for us. Experimental, Experimental pill. pill. Range up luck down. And I'm drowsy, which is actually pretty good. So there's the boss. Kinda had to tank the hit and with how the trites were positioned. This room's actually, unlike that last room, this room's much easier to deal with. Still haven't found the item room yet, so we might as well go look for that first before we do anything else. <laughs> so in the sh yeah, I'll take the bombs. The shot. We do have plenty of bombs to look for the super secret room with. Two more black sacks for bombs, pills, and black hearts. Health up and balls of steel, which means nothing for us.
I would like 15 cents if at all possible. And for the second shot. Duke of Flies here. We got a lot of tiers and we got a damage upgrade and two tiers up between Capricorn and Mr. Dolly. So the fight was, as we saw, pretty much a piece of cake for us. Now inside the Devil Deal, we're definitely going to take Death's List. And we get Tears Up. Nice. Now I will go into the shop. See what we've got. One nickel is... I think I'll bond the donation machine to guarantee me that I get the wind nickel out. And I'll bomb it a little bit more for the battery. And we get hive mine, which is actually not not going to be too bad for us, considering that we have Spider Mod, Spider Mod, and a couple of Pretty Fly Orbitals. Beyond this DPS, I think I'm going to try Alt Path. Mm hmm. Dross to. Now, any enemy that's going to be spawning, like, a lot of ads is pretty much just guaranteed to ruin the Deathless Order. So don't even bother trying it for, for it in a room like this. Good thing we have this full card we're sitting on. Let's see what's inside boss trap room. Experimental treatment. Hmm. Yeah, I'm willing to actually take experimental treatment. Lost a little bit of tears when we got four your stat up. Now, luckily for us, the experimental treatment there had targeted our HP for the other sat down, but Lost doesn't have HP. Here's the mirror room. It seems we're in a pretty good spot in general to deal with any boss that- with basically any boss that Dross can actually throw at us. And then secret room's gonna be here.
chaos. Yes. I will take chaos. Guppy's head. It is still a good idea to hold on to the Eternal D6 for this floor, given that we ate. He could actually still reroll bad stuff. Now, Little Blub is actually, like, impossible to get that sort of harm, so don't worry about it. So we do still get, like, Roid Rage, which I will take. We'd also hit a Devil Deal without raising a chance. So let's look inside the Devil Deal. Yeah. That's not bad. And before we do anything else, we need to open up the mines. And also checking inside the room. And then I'll take perfection. Might as well. So with our luck set now at 13, a lot of opportunities open up for us. Yeah, I might as well go fight the boss while we still have the Eternal D6 and we can reroll any HP upgrade the game decides to toss our way. So we're gonna fight Lil Blub again. To just as much deathless success as before. He did not do that attack the first time around. We get Potato Peeler, which is not going to do anything for me, so we're just gonna remove it from game and go into... Alright, let's head out of the Mirror World. Grab Guppy's head from the item room and then head down to the next floor. It seems the time of Eternal D6's usefulness has come to a screeching halt as we have now embraced the chaos of random item pools. Nah, this room's like...
Black Heart's pretty worthless to us, but it's good to know we can at least hit some deathless payouts. Oh, Maw of the Void. And we got a damage upgrade, too. Now things are starting to come together. It's also great to know where those ghosts are going to actually come from. Want to battery? No thanks. I will be just fine. Seeker room could be over here. And it is. Tower and Wheel of Fortune. Wheel of Fortune. Well, Nuntap is not very useful to us. And we already raised our heal chance, yeah, okay. Infested? Who needs to see the map to win? Another damage upgrade. Ah, oh, okay. Good to know the super secret room isn't there. Which means is Okay, apparently I just don't know crap about the Super Secret Room anymore this run. Okay, it's here. It it has to be there. Prayer card is pretty worthless to us, but we'll take it out of the pool. And I will just head on down. Two damage upgrades out of death's list is pretty clutch. Much for that floor. Remember when the boss item was worthless? If we get a gold bomb, I might as well press the button, but if we get a gold bomb, we can actually go in there for free. 
you know, without needing to full clear for the buttons. Safety scissors would also be pretty epic. Okay. Let's see what's inside the curse room. Ha. I'm gonna wait on it. I feel like we're doing fine in the tears department without pop. Three close body slots are taken. Full health. Doesn't do anything. Good job. It was the thought that counted. Yeah, this Tenlock's also been generating a lot of bombs. Nope. Crooked Penny is not worth fighting two bosses for. Or in this situation. Where we're not in desperate measure zone. Okay, luck. Just what we need. Contagion's pretty good. In the item room, we have marbles and a blind item. Oh, stapler is awesome. More damage. Might as well fight the boss now. No, we should actually increase our deal chance first before we fight the boss. And perhaps also get the knife piece. Yeah, let's let's get the knife piece. Sounds like a nice chill time. Now, most characters would have to navigate their way through a puzzle maze and and lead a hanged man card. <laughs> what sort of funny joke is this game? That you would give me a hanged man card as a flying character. But yeah, most characters would actually have to deal with a with a lengthy puzzle and chase sequence, but I, as the lost, can just fly through the whole thing. <laughs> Another hanged man. Now I just go in a straight line, and the knife is mine. Yeah, 
we have a plentiful enough supply of bombs that I feel like playing the bomb beggar. Okay. Yeah, I appreciate the thought. Not like I have much else to spend my money on anyway. So while I actually spend my money on the slot machine over here, What do I want to talk about? Oh, well, I spent my money on the... Oh, okay. I see how it is. Hmm. Not even a bomb from blowing the slot machine, either. That's a little bit of a troll. Ah, Great Gideon. We're getting a lot of these skeletal needle waves. Ah, uh, there's the double though. Okay. Ah, Krampus! I love Krampus. Get owned. Give us more luck that we don't need. Um, do I want to roll with Eden's soul? Let's see how many battery charges are in that shop. Two. Uh. Mm, Guppy's head has been pretty good. But if we find a battery beggar on the next floor, we're gonna be all set to actually get two items pretty quick. So I'll go with Eden's soul. And we still get two more items with Eden's soul. That is not past the two more items, though. Oh, that's... Okay. Oh. Alright, see you all next time, Lost